Here we have a 2019 Chevy Tahoe LT with the Z71 package. Has a 5.3 liter V8 engine, automatic transmission with four wheel drive, and this SUV only has 33,000 kilometers on the odometer. For the interior, you can see we have our power locks, power folding mirrors, and power window controls all around the driver's door handle. Below that, you'll find your memory seat controls, a bunch of storage, and on the speaker, you will see the badge showing that this vehicle is equipped with the Bose sound system. We have a nice black on black combination for the interior with leather bucket seats up front. Both front seats are fully power operated by the switches on either side. You'll see off to the side here that we do have audio controls found on the back of the steering wheel. You also have a power telescopic steering wheel control there. Some buttons for your traction control, park and sensor toggle, downhill descent control, lane, keep, or lane departure warning, as well as your power adjustable pedals. Then we have automatic four wheel drive, automatic headlights with fog lights, and then we do have our gauge cluster illumination dial right there. Side the steering wheel. You can see we have a combination of analog and digital displays for the gauge cluster. And at the very bottom, you'll see we have 33,365 kilometers on the odometer at the moment. And you are able to change what is displayed. Each session ended. Goodbye. I apologize, hit the Bluetooth button there. You are able to show or change what is displayed in the screen here. Various different trip information, fuel range, oil life, all that fun stuff. And then you do have audio and phone information as well. On the steering wheel itself, we have your cruise control on this side with your forward collision alert and your heated steering wheel buttons. On the other side, this directional pad here is what I was using to go through the screen in the gate cluster. And then we have these Bluetooth controls. Automatic gear select is a column mounted shifter here with tow mode on the end and gear select in the middle. And when the vehicle is in reverse, this is where you'll find your backup camera with some guidance lines. And you also have front and rear parking sensors that are displayed in the gauge cluster screen as well. For the stereo itself, we have AM, FM, and XM radio. You have USB and auxiliary ports, a CD player, Bluetooth connectivity, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. And then you do have a bunch of different apps um, installed already. Under settings here, we can go and check out our vehicle information, collision detection systems, and here we can find forward collision, so that's the one on the steering wheel I mentioned before, park assist, those are the sensors, rear cross traffic alert, and then we do have our lane change alerts, all configurable in there. So it operates just like a smartphone would, uh, very intuitive to the touch. You also have some buttons below it. So those are just the analog controls for the stereo, of course. Uh, this button here actually moves the screen out of the way. So you do have this nice little storage compartment found behind the screen. That also includes a USB port. So if you need to charge something, you can definitely throw it in there. And then to bring it back down, you just press the button again, as such. Below all that, we do have your CD player that goes in there, or CD that goes in there, uh, release button for that. Then we have dual zone climate control with ice cold air conditioning. You also have a third climate control in the back, so rear climate control that is controlled by this panel here, as well as the one um, I'll show you in the back. We also have heated front seats for both the front passengers, and like most General Motors products, you do have the option of just the backrest or the backrest and the bottom seat cushion getting warm. And then you have two USB ports and a cigarette letter cell outlet in the center console. Nice big center console with two cup holders, some storage off to the side, kind of throughout here on both sides. Little storage compartment there. And in here, you do get a ton of storage. You have another 12 volt cigarette letter cell outlet, little storage cubby there, another storage cubby there. Then we have two USB ports and an auxiliary port found on that side as well. Up top, we do have your auto dimming rear view mirror with some analog uh, OnStar buttons there. Then we have your dome light controls, three car garage door opener, sunroof control. We also have your height adjustment for your power lift gate as well. Then up top, we have a, sit, or a sunglass holder, as such. And then we do have this mirror that shows into the back. So if you have kids in the back and want to keep an eye on them, you can have this out and you can keep an eye on them without turning around. The tile is equipped with 18 inch factory alloy wheels wrapped in Goodyear Wrangler tires. We do have a nice bluey gray color for the exterior. Up front, we do have halogen headlights with LED daytime running lights, fog lights in each corner as well as paint match parking sensors along the front bumper, just little circles that you can see. And then you also have two tow loops, one on either side. And the truck, or the SUV, does have an engine block heater tucked just under the hood there. You can see the little cord. The vehicle does have tinted windows, front and back. Also have roof rails, intelligent access buttons on all the door handles. We also have the badge for Tahoe, 
and then running boards along the bottom. We also have the badge for the Z71 package. And we do have four wheel disc brakes and underneath the back, you can see your spare tire mounted underneath there as well. You do have LED tail lights in the rear, the badging for Tahoe, the Chevy badge, and then we do have the Z71 badge on that side. And we also have the parking sensors in the back all the way across. And you are able to remove this middle section here that'll expose the trailer hitch receiver, or you can keep the cover on and um, keep that out of the way. So we'll go ahead and press the lift gate button twice, lifts up. So with the Tahoe being a three row SUV, you did give up a bit of storage space in the back for the sake of the third seat, but you are able to fold down the second and third row seating quite easily as I'll show in a moment. But first underneath here, we do have some storage underneath this false floor. Uh, the third row does fold down in a 60-40 split and you can do all of it by the buttons on the side here. So we'll go with this one first. Fold that down. And do the other side. And then the two other buttons are for the second row. So you can go ahead and fold those out of the way all the way up. as such. So whatever you prefer, if you leave them flat or out of the way like that, figure it how you want. Um, you can't do it with the second row, but you can do it with the third row where you can power them back up, which is super handy to have. And then I don't know if you, you saw it, but underneath these covers, you do have the child seat anchors all along the back. And then when you're done, you can use the key, the button in the interior or the one on the lift gate. Drops down on its own, nice and easy. For the rear interior, we have your power window switch below the door handle, a cup holder towards the front, some storage along the bottom by your speaker. And with the seats in this position, it does give you incredibly easy access to the third row. So in the third row, you do get three seats. So there's two in the front, two in the middle, three in the back, giving this a seven seat capacity. We also have a cup holder on one side, two cup holders on the other, and then the lower child seat anchors are just found in the folds as well. As for the second row, super easy to put them back down. You will find the child seat anchors at the very bottom. That's a little dark to see, so I'll bring that back up a bit. See, that is the lower child seat anchor down there. Solid. And super easy, you can reach across at their own armrests. Then you can see with those in place, you do have a ton of legroom and headroom for the second row passengers. Same nice leather material for the seating all throughout the interior. We also have storage pockets on the back of both the front seats, all leather mats throughout. And then you do have rear climate control and then heated rear seats for the second row so the captain chairs are heated. And then you also have a household style outlet on that side and a 12 volt cigarette lighter style on the other side. Below that, you also have a little storage compartment there. And then for the child seat anchors, they're super easy to find. The lower ones are just found in the crease on both the captain chairs. And that was the 2019 Chevy Tahoe LT with the Z71 package. If you're interested in this four wheel drive, seven passenger V8 SUV, you can go to parkmonster.ca to fill up the form to book your test drive. In doing so, we can get you a $25 Visa gift card for coming down. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you soon.